See, we're gonna plug in your bounce house, huh, Bubba? Yes. Mommy, can we can get these balls. Visit me, she said that she the lonely us, and it's hard to open up. Monarch butterflies, you should open up. I'm trying to put your heart together, found it broken up. Going up and smoke, smoking up. Make sure the children in the house, she's inappropriate. The way she's approaching us, I disassociate. Exfoliate, the renegotiate. She's closing up. Come to visit me, she said that she the lonely us, and it's hard to open up. Open you up like a puck ball. Open up, tear you out for a puck ball. Let your emotions walk, fall on me. Open up. Open up. Need to deep breathe, hard and complications. Open up. Need to breathe, breathe, have a conversation. Contemplation over our situation. Open up. You OPN, bitch, you won't be BM. We should be closer than friends. If you OPN, engaging, you's on my agenda. Request my chariot to get ya. The door's OPN, take that high road and hop in. You OPN, bitch, you won't be BM. We should be closer than friends. If you OPN, engaging, you's on my agenda. We just got home from Walmart and his mom's house and I wanted to show you guys what he picked up from Walmart and what his mom got, Lincoln and the baby. So she got her some more headbands. I thought this one was so cute. It's like a bandana headband. And then these two, this is like a a faux jean like material and then that one with the big purple like flower on it super cute and then here's a couple colored ones and then we already have so much of this body wash because I don't really use the Johnson's on Lincoln and we had so much of it from our baby shower But this was her Easter basket, I guess. And then there's the lotion for bedtime and the bedtime bath. She got, oh, she also got her this baby doll. She got Lincoln one too, cause I said I wanted to get one for like for him to practice. And he can like, you know, change the baby's diapers and show him to like be gentle with the baby and stuff like that before she gets here. And then she got this 360 count pack of wipes. There's four packs of 90 in there. And then she got a pack of size two diapers. And then also a pack of, or a box of size two and a box of size one. She got her two toys that and then also this one and then she bought a can of formula for just in case I cannot breastfeed right away we have this just in case for something kind of some type of backup 
And then she got this is in newborn. There is that outfit. And then this one is gray with pink polka dots. And then a floral one and they're all long sleeve. And then she also got her a, it says you are so loved. This is three to six months though. Comes with a little hat. And then the pants that are footed. And then this, she only paid, I think she said like two bucks for this, but it's a, like a big, huge sleeper. It's real super thin, so it's definitely not like a snowsuit or anything like that, but it's 18 month. And then we got, this is for the oatmeal. Some more of our drinks. to make um, mushroom Swiss burgers probably tomorrow for dinner. That's what we needed the mushrooms for. And then this is a coat. It's a coat she got for Lincoln for next year for winter time. It's got a real soft inside to it that is the baby doll that she got Lincoln she got him some bubbles and sidewalk chalk that and it was crazy because we were just talking about how he needed some of that I am going to go ahead and put all this stuff away. Lincoln is sleeping right now. I'll probably be waking him up to give him a shower or a bath after I take a shower. And then we'll probably lay down and relax for the rest of the evening. So um, I will check back in with you guys tomorrow. We just got home. It is Sunday the 5th. Um, we got home from my grandparents, grandma's house, um, every Sunday. We have our family dinner, and even though grandpa is not here, and it was a little different, but we still did it. Um, I am getting ready to film a video of how we are sharing our sharing our room with a newborn and a toddler and also how we have set up the um house for a toddler or i mean for our newborn so um i just wanted to show you guys all of that so stay tuned for that video but i wanted to show you guys her uh bow collection most of these we got off of Amazon, but she's starting to get quite a collection, don't you think? And then I separated them by color and on their own little rings. This one I think is so cute. I cannot wait to see her wear that, the little crown. It's so cute. And then this one is the one that, one of them that, uh, Willie's mom, Nancy, got for her yesterday. And then I got a bunch of them that are like just regular little bows. And then the, this one I think Nancy got her. And that one Nancy bought her. And then this one Nancy bought her. But it's so big. I was looking at that like that could probably fit my head. So I don't know how long it's going to be before she'll actually be able to wear it. But she's got like every color you can possibly think of. Pretty much for the most part. There's even like some dark blues 
and blacks in there as well. This little basket here ready for, this is going to be like her bath time basket. These are the soaps that we're going to be using for her. And then this go, this is the little sling that goes in her new bathtub. And then um, I got some Cetaphil. Lincoln didn't have bad skin like at all. So I'm hoping she won't either, but you never know. And then this will be like what I can lay her on to get her out of her clothes while we're in the bathroom. And then that is going to go to the hospital with us. That's that real soft blanket that Lincoln picked out for her. But, um... Yeah, I just got all this stuff ready and up there for her, uh, that video that I'm getting ready to film. But I'm also thinking of taking all of her bath towels and, like, rolling them up and putting them in here as well. And then, like, setting that in the bathroom, maybe. I don't know. I just hate that our house is so small. And it's hard to really do much with. But um, right now Lincoln just laid down for his nap. We were outside drawing with chalk at grandma's. And he fell forward and he scuffed his forehead right here. And he's got a few little scuff marks on his nose. I feel so bad for him. He like cried for like 10 seconds. And then he was good. But um, I also forgot to tell you guys, I made a roller ball this morning with, I made my more milk um, roller ball this morning. It's a 10, millim, er, 10 ml bottle with four drops basil, four drops clary sage, and four drops of fennel essential oil. And then I filled the rest of it up with um, coconut oil. And I also made an immunity roller for us as well. But, um, and I'll probably make more roller balls. But what I'm planning on doing is once she is here, once I've actually had her, and you can really smell that uh, basil. But um, once she's here, after the like first two hours of me being like skin to skin with her, I'm planning on um, like after she's off me, ro rub it, rolling that on my breasts and then letting that soak in. Yes, I know that you only make colostrum for the first couple days. I know that. But I have been leaking quite a bit. I've been having to use the breast pads and all of that. So I'm hoping that this time, all the prepping that I've done for myself to try to make sure that I'm like staying hydrated and all that, hopefully that helped and I am able to successfully breastfeed this time. I'm like really, really hoping. But, um just in case not I have that to help with and uh, I also have like the mother's milk tea and some other things that you guys can see in that um, video that I have made or that I'm getting ready to film but um, yeah so stay tuned for that video and I am actually gonna go ahead and get off here film part of it while Lincoln's sleeping and then the part where um, I'm going to need the living room because there's like, I have some things set up in the living room too. I will, uh, film that once he's awake. I am making mushroom Swiss burgers for dinner. Sauteing my mushrooms here with different seasonings. Got some onions on there. And... Right here is our patties. I just flipped those just a minute ago. And then here I'm making 
some creamy garlic butter noodles. They're so good. I got milk and butter. Come into a boil here. And then um, this is what it is. It's so good. These Nora pasta sides are amazing. They're not the healthiest for you, but right now we don't really have much of a choice on that. Watching some YouTube on the computer. And Link is playing with his toys. And other than that, I'm not doing much. Dirty, messy house that needs cleaned up. Would you like to say hi? You want to show them what toy you're playing with? Show them. Show them your toy. See, I took a tumble today. Yeah, you took a tumble. See, I got my nose and my forehead. Huh. Let's show them your toy. Show them what it does. So you walk with it? He likes to run through the house with it, huh? Yeah. See, so there's old Digger Do. Diggies. See, so that's my dog. That's my dog, everybody. Yeah, that's my doggy. What is it, Diggy? It's a complete mess back there. I got diapers in that thing that needs folded. I just been filming videos and today was kind of a lazy day. All I did was really film one video in this vlog that I've been working on for like two days now. Oh, Bubby. Are you running through the house? He keeps getting into Willie's um, lunch box there. Those have, are getting ready to go outside to be burned. I tore down a shelf that was in Lincoln's room, but he keeps getting in his lunch box and taking snacks to him and having him feed him to him. No, give me that. No. Why are you going through the diaper bag? Is that something we have to do? Huh? Is there anything else in there? Do you need juice? Where's your juice cup? Here. Go take it to daddy and see if you got a juice cup in the living room. Tell him you need juice for dinner. So you need some juice to go with your dinner. All right, or don't. That's fine too, you don't have to. You don't have to if you don't want to. And that is dinner. Mushroom Swiss burger with some tomato, creamy garlic shells, and Willie wanted hot buffs, and Lincoln and I are gonna have some gorditos. Gorditos. These things are amazing.
All right, guys, I am getting ready to fold some laundry. Um, Willie is outside rolling the yard and um, I'm gonna do some editing on the computer and then I don't know what I'm gonna do after that. Lincoln is taking a nap and I'm pretty much just gonna get the house cleaned up. Um, it's so weird watching somebody else be on that mower because I've always seen my grandpa on that mower. As kids, we were never allowed outside, so it felt really weird having Lincoln outside while the mower was being ran. When my mom and Aunt Jenny and Uncle Chris were little kids, my grandpa was mowing the yard and a hanger was out in the yard, a wire hanger, and it was, I want to say like a quarter of an inch from my aunt's heart, like because it got in the mower and shot out of the mower and pierced into my aunt's chest. When they took her to the hospital, they said that she was like, it was like this far away from her heart. So after that, no kids were ever allowed to be outside, even as growing up with me, like I was not allowed, even when I was growing up, I was not allowed outside when grandpa was mowing. None of us grandkids were. So it just felt kind of awkward being out there. And you know, with him just freshly passing away, it was just, I don't know, it was just really, really awkward. But Willie is closer to the house, so I'm gonna go shut the living room window so Lincoln does not get woke up. Oh wait, yeah, he's gonna be coming up this way. So I'm gonna go shut the living room windows. That way he doesn't get woke up. But um, this vlog isn't very interesting and I know and I'm sorry, but I don't know how it really could be. I mean, we're quarantined in a house. You're not allowed to really go anywhere. I don't go anywhere really anyways. I usually stay home unless we absolutely have to. Um, I don't like people. I'm not a people person. Like, to interact with people face to face. Like, over the phone and stuff like that, that's completely different. I'm okay with doing that because I can choose when I want to answer you and how long it takes and all that. So, yeah, but for the most part, I'm not a people person at all. Now, back in my addiction, yes, I could talk to somebody all day long as long as I was high, but now that I'm clean, even being clean two years, being around people gives me such bad anxiety, and especially with all of this, the C word, you know, yeah, that, yeah especially with that going on and being this close to the end of my pregnancy and like we're 24 days away from our daughter being here and I just don't want to get that virus and then deliver my daughter into that and bring her home into that and yeah but um yeah, I really haven't done much today. Here is almost 36 week belly shot. We're getting there. My belly button is starting to poke out a little bit more than usual. But, um, this week I've been, like the past couple weeks, I have been in so much pain from this little girl and carrying around my son, which I probably shouldn't be doing this late into my pregnancy, but it's so hard not to. You know, he's 16 months old and I've always, you know, been able to pick him up, but I'm like, should I stop doing it as much now that way after I have my c-section it's not like a sudden smack in the face like oh my god why isn't mom picking me up as much or at all or 
should I just do it as much as I possibly can now and then once when I come home from the hospital then just stop like I don't know what to do and it's so hard not to pick him up like he's just so sweet and lovable and cuddly and I don't know it's just it's hard I don't know what to do I'm really really struggling there but um I am gonna go ahead and end the vlog here it's about four o'clock in the afternoon and I am just going to work on editing and I need to get a new editing app for our home computer so I can start doing some editing on there while Lincoln is sleeping in the living room or like I can do the editing in the living room while he's asleep and I think it would be easier for me um, to do it on there and much faster on there maybe not I don't know I know it's super uncomfortable for me to sit it's super uncomfortable for me to stand but it's more uncomfortable for me to sit than it is to stand like this 35 weeks I will be very shocked if I make it to the 39 weeks and one day mark for my c-section I will be very shocked and um yeah just she puts so much pressure down like on my cervix like it hurts so bad and I never ever experienced that with Lincoln ever like I don't ever remember him putting that much pressure on my cervix like that like he did a little bit but not like that and it'll be like she's like sitting on it and will not get off of it it hurts pretty bad but I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching this video. Thank you for all your love and support. Um, thank you for all your kind words. Like the last few videos that I've uploaded, you guys have been so sweet. And I just wanna thank you for that. I am going to go now, but I love you guys. See you in my next one.